Bulldogs, welcome to the 2020-2021 school year. My name is Ms. Weinberg and I'm your new Dean. And I'm Mr. Hawkins, also your new Dean. We wanted to welcome you back with a discussion on the norms and expectations for this school year. The Dean's office includes Mr. Mannon, the Assistant Principal for Student Affairs, myself, Mr. Hawkins, and Mrs. Weinberg. I come to you from J.S. Morton High School where I worked for 11 years as a bilingual world history teacher. I also served as an instructional coach, a football coach, and a wrestling coach. I'm a proud husband and proud father of two beautiful girls, Johanna and Winnie. Again, my name is Mrs. Weinberg and I'm one of your new deans for this year. I come to you from Argo Community High School where I taught history and AP government. I also directed the musicals and coached the speech team. I live in the city of Chicago with my husband and our dog, Mac, and in our free time, we like to travel and kayak. The first expectation to talk about with remote learning is attendance. You wanna make sure that you log into your Zoom and Google Meets promptly at the start of class and don't log out until the end of the period or otherwise instructed by your teacher. You might see three new codes in your attendance. One would be N for no participant. This would be if you were in the middle of a Zoom or a Google Meet, the teacher called your name and you didn't participate, you didn't say anything. Um, it doesn't count against your attendance, but it does give us an idea about behavior. Same thing with virtual cut, that code is VC. With that, that would be if you left class early, if you logged out early. An LT, late tardy. That is if you show up to class more than 10 minutes late. Again, those three codes don't count against your attendance, but they do give us an idea of behavior for when we call home. Report tech issues immediately via email to your teacher. If you are planning to be absent from any of the school day, you must have a parent call the attendance office at 708-442-8407 to report the absence. Be on time to class. The next expectation to address for this school year is behavior. You wanna make sure when you're on screen for your Zooms and Google Meets that your clothing and dress is school appropriate. Whatever you would wear to school, you wanna make sure you're wearing it on screen as well. Your workspace should be free of any inappropriate materials. You wanna make sure that you're working in a clean, brightly lit space. Finally, you wanna make sure that your profile pictures and backgrounds on Zoom and Google Meets are school appropriate. Language should be school appropriate, both when spoken and in chats. Report any concerns. If you see anything, say something. Go to the school website, go to the students tab, and go to where it says report bullying. There you can fill out the Google form with any information that is important. Again, you see something, say something. Next, we would like to address some information in your handbook. Your code of conduct specifically addresses gross misconduct. It is conduct that interferes with, disrupts, or adversely affects the school environment and or operations, as determined by the building administration. This would deal with illegal possession or consumption of tobacco, alcohol, steroids, drugs, look-alike drugs, or drug paraphernalia, and purchasing or supplying alcohol or drugs. Violating the code of conduct is a serious offense. If you violate the code of conduct, you are risking, at minimum, five-day suspension, and you could also risk losing your athletic and extracurricular privileges. Finally, please use your school-issued device appropriately. We use two systems to monitor your usage of your computers, Bark and GoGuardian. They alert us to any inappropriate language and conversations, inappropriate image and video searches, including Netflix, and inappropriate websites. And have, have a, a great, great school year. year.